Hey guys, this is going to be a tour of Prison 201. This is a con not continuous intake with a fog of war. It is called Prison 201 because of the 201 prisoners, as you can see here. And this prison is a small size, and it currently is valued over a million dollars. We have one escaped attempt that prison actually got out, and but since then we have 3,000 hours of non no incidents. And the safe file for this uh, prison should be in the description below, and I'll put that there whenever. And we have three workers, which can be we can hire more f if we need projects or any kind of retiling or furniture that needs to be moved. Aside from that, we have 35 guards, and then two doctors, 28 cooks, 18 gardeners, and 16 janitors. And in addition to that, we have one administrator for each of the things, aside from a lawyer, because currently this game is an Alpha 5, which is the thing I'm running on, and the lawyer does not have a reuse at the moment. Currently it is about 4 in the morning, which is free time. And after free time, we will have yard time, and then at 6 a.m., there will be breakfast. And this is going to pretty much be a run-through of the day. And this is a really stable prison. I haven't had a single complaint in pretty much the 3,000 hours of the bonus time. So it's pretty much good to go. I mean, the pr prison is pretty much self-capable, self-running. The needs are all met, as you can see. Usually they don't go past, or everything besides from sleep doesn't go past 80. Not even 50 sometimes. Sleep is a pretty big problem. But there is no complaints or anything, so that's the good part. Now, starting off the tour, we're going to go off to the entrance. We have four sets of doors on the garbage side, five sets of doors on the main entrance, and then another five sets of doors on deliveries. Now, being that I have doors on deliveries, the prisoners just go through the deliveries doors instead of the main entrance. So that's something to keep track of. Now, we go to the left. You're going to have the canteen and the kitchen. The kitchen, pretty much, I have around 12 cooks or so. 12 cookers, but I have about 28 cooks. And this is the yard, pretty much, as it is now yard time. We have pretty much everything they need in here weight benches, benches, TVs, chairs, pool tables, a line of beds on this right side. Traffic gets a little crowded at the entrances, but it's not a big problem. I have around 10 guards patrolling the yard. Anyways, in addition to that, we have two bathroom areas on the north side and then one on the west side and another shower area on the west side. So this pretty much fills everything they need. On the south side of the yard is the phone booths. And that's pretty much enough to keep all of them happy. This is the canteen. We have pretty much everything they need in here too. On the west side there's a shower and a bathroom linked to the canteen as well. This is the deployment setup. We have one guard per cell block, four on the north cell block which is rather large. The canteen and yard have the most guards patrolling. And then in the walkway areas, I have around five guards. And all the staff areas and the entrances are staff only zones. Right now, it is breakfast time. As you can see on the top left, not that many people are hungry. I have four eating times in a day. So that's more than the usual three. But I mean, being keeping them overfed is better than underfed. So that's just how I run things. As you can see on the left side, we have the bathroom there. We also have a bathroom on the south side and also on the west side, which are all zoned as canteen. And then we have a shower for anyone that needs to keep up with their hygiene. And we have phone booths on the south as well, TVs and benches to the top right area, as well as a few beds and pool tables. Pretty much, you can see I have a bunch of food left over, over like probably 30 things. So I can feed about another 15 prisoners. <clears throat> now I realize that the bar on the top left for feeding all prisoners is not all green. That's because there's a few of the glitched prisoners. And I can't really do anything about that. So that's just part of the alpha part of the game. Here's the staff area. We have a couple offices down here. CCTV monitor. I have six monitors since this is a fog of war. But I have enough staff running or guards going around. There's really no point to them. Unless you want to fire a few guards you can always just add more security cameras up here with the power station it's maxed out with capacitators along with the water pump station and even with maxed out capacitators I'm running probably like 94 93 percent on power with the 201 prisoners and the cells are pretty much all just kind of like a long rectangle style 
And they do not have doors, which is slight security risk. I have doors on the cell blocks, but not individual cells, and that's just the safe space. There are two by three standards with a bed, toilet, and TV. The TV usually keeps them occupied. Even though I'm not sure it makes that much of a difference, but it keeps them busy sometimes. Over here we have the execution infirmary up below the canteen as well. There's really no use to it though, considering execution has not been developed yet in this Alpha 5 stage. And infirmary, we don't have that many riots either, so it's just there as it's needed. As you can see, the needs are kept pretty low. With 200 prisoners, only probably like 40 of them actually have high or medium levels. The critical ones are obviously the glitched prisoners. It's a bit laggy whenever it switches from free time to yard. During eat and nothing and sleep, the frame rate goes up to around 12 or 10. I mean, it's smooth enough. I mean, this is smoother than most of the other. I've, I've run 230 prisoners on large, another 200 on medium, and it gets pretty laggy because of the map size. But running 200 on small is pretty good. I can get around minimal 5 frames a second, but up to around 15. The frame rate, I think, usually goes by how many jobs are queued, such as cleaning garbage, cooking, or all the prisoners, whatever they want to do, like watch TV or wait. The more jobs or tasks the prisoners have, the more laggy it's going to get. Usually clears up after the few 20 minutes or so of the set block of the schedule. Here's just a closer look at the kitchen. We have about five sinks, enough to keep in, enough to keep up with the number of trays. And the reason I have 28 cooks is because I need most of them to pick up the trays and just keep the canteen clean. Otherwise, I only have about maybe 15 to 20 of the cooks actually on the cookers cooking food. And once in a while, you're gonna have a few janitors and gardeners stuck on the corners. But that's not a big deal in my opinion. And in a side note, this prison makes eight thousand dollars a day. You can put it up to about ten thousand. You can put the guards all the way down to eighteen guards, and it still keeps a good security rate. That's what I used to have it on. But just for this demonstration, I hired a few extra guards so that the fog of war isn't really blocking everything. As you can see, by midday, sleep is a pretty big issue, going about one ninety on the medium. But during free time, usually prisoners can bring it down a little, and then during the night. I have two hours set for sleep, so that keeps them pretty much not from being insomniacs. Right now it's lunchtime, just past one. You see, not that many people need to eat, only about a quarter of the prisoners, that's probably like 25 to 50. And this canteen with all the benches and tables should be able to accommodate more than enough of the prisoners and the rest of them either using the bathroom, showering, or just watching TV and stuff. So you can see the prison runs really smooth. I mean occasionally you may have to move a few of the staff members around but that's about it. And for you architects out there, the material on this is marble white tile in the kitchen and then for the cell blocks I have white tile for hallways and marble for the cells themselves and in the yard it's grass and I believe it's road and with concrete tile for walkways and deliveries and garbage that is stone and to the right of the prison is a tree line if you can see that and beyond the tree line is another fence a long line of fence to prevent any more prisoners from escaping. As you can see, it's getting a bit laggy at this stage, but it usually clears up in a little bit. Free time is probably the laggiest, in my opinion. As you can see, after um, eating or lunch, the frame rate gets pretty good. The cooks are pretty much picking up all the trays, and once they do that, they'll be back to cooking. That's pretty much all of the tour I really need to give. The rest of this is just pretty much how the day runs. Pretty much just free time and yard. I mean, if you want to watch more, you can go ahead, but otherwise, that's about it. 
you can go ahead and try out this prison or just see how you want to change your prison or if you have any advice or questions you can just comment down below and you see you got a few janitors still stuck on the corners I mean I have 18 janitors or 16 janitors and 18 gardeners just to keep up with the look I mean if you're more about security and stuff you can just hire probably another 20 guards I don't know, I really don't like cracks and stuff showing around in my prison. So I was keeping it uptight. And now it's just past four in the afternoon, so it's yard time again. I mean, the thing I love about it is just all the prisoners moving into the yard. It looks like a bunch of ants. And from here out, it's just pretty much a run through of the day. I'm probably not going to say much unless there's really anything I need to. As you can see in the yard, most of the prisoners are just sitting down on the beds relaxing, using toilets or in the shower. And a few of them are on weight benches, but it's pretty much about it. Here I'm just going to show you the utilities of that setup. I'm not really sure that's a big deal, but just in case you're wondering. I mean, I'm only one running on one power supply or one power generator. Since it is a small prison, so the power demand isn't that much. Usually the biggest power demand is coming from the kitchen, where the cooks and fridges are. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's not much. Or besides the electric chair, if you turn that on, I might go past the peak on the power generator. But then again, you have no use for the electric chair in this stage of the game, so... Now it is 7 o'clock at night, so it's time for dinner. My cooks are pretty good with 28. We usually have most of the stuff set out by the time each eating period arrives. As you can see, sleep is still a big problem, but otherwise everything's kept stable throughout the day. The spread in the kitchen isn't much. I'd say a good quarter of them want to shower and another quarter of them want to go use the bathroom. And something I didn't mention earlier, but I should have, is the shower to the left of the canteen. That is zone that shower. The shower above that actual zone shower is part of the canteen, in case you're wondering. As you see, the food just goes down to around 30 or so, maybe to 20 at minimum. And for everything else, it's still pretty low. As you can see, it's now dark outside. We're gonna have lights. I have plenty of lights around the area. As you can see, I have the workshop zone on the right side of the map, along with the fence area. I have lights along the roadways, plenty of lights in the yard, and all the cell blocks are lit up <laughs> since they're on the inside. Well, that's free time, and being that it's at night time, usually by this time all the prisoners go back to their cell blocks just to sleep. Occasionally a few people just walk around. You got another gardener stuck on a corner.
I mean, I see everyone sleeping right now. Should go down to around 160 or 150 or so. In the next eating period I have set up should be at 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. All the eating periods are two hours long. And on the medium and large size prisons I had with 200, the problem was the cooks would not get the food out fast enough and that would require a longer cooking period or eating period. And I really didn't have that kind of flexibility because if you take out more eating period then they're going to either be more sleepy or needing more shower time or whatever. This is the finance again. I'm not sure if I showed it earlier, but we make about eight thousand six hundred and thirty-two dollars a day. Pretty much most of it comes from the guard wages for the expense. You can always lower that just by firing them. You really don't need guard. I don't really don't need guards patrolling the sub blocks, anyways. But it's just in case. The reason I have this midnight snack kind of thing is just to prevent prisoners from rioting while they're sleeping or something. But it's still good. It keeps them from getting up in the middle of the night and allows me to have a sleep period because during the medium and large prisons if I put in a sleep period there be prisoners that lack something and start complaining I'm not sure I'm talking about this earlier but the area under the kitchen with the morgue and a few cells that used to be a holding cell and I renovated that so I could hold these cells and a morgue. But there was no, really no use in a morgue if, since the prison's really good security. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. The save file is going to be in the description below once again. And if you have comments, just, or questions, comment below and like if you enjoyed. Thank you.